Since the era of scientific renaissance, researchers have been grappling with the fundamental problem related to the complex interplay between electromagnetic radiation and matter. Fast forward to 2016, that is present day science. We still have two very strong uh, schools of uh, thought dealing with the fundamental controversy which is popularly called as the Abraham Minkowski controversy which basically relates to electromagnetic radiation whether the, uh, the momentum of the electromagnetic radiation passing through matter increases or decreases. Now steering clear of the controversy uh, that is notwithstanding the controversy if one way to concentrate on the precise uh, scattering characteristics of electromagnetic radiation when it is passing through uh, matter, which is what we have done over the many years, then uh, very interesting and uh, educational uh, results would be emanating and that is what we have got. Over the many years, uh, our premise was if we have the wherewithal uh, in terms of uh, science and technology to precisely monitor uh, scattering characteristics of light after it has passed through matter. Now again, matter can be either uh, air or water. Then uh, these precise uh, scattering characteristics are indicative of uh, the characteristics of the matter through which the light has passed. So based on this premise and based on our work over the many years, we have developed a number of uh, uh, very interesting technologies. Uh, these technologies are uh, very precise and sensitive compared to uh, the con any of the conventional known technologies in the world today. The technologies which we have developed are compact, are uh, lightweight and uh, they consume very little power. These technologies, eight in number, I would like to uh, uh, give you a brief about all these eight technologies. The first technology which we have developed is called as Ohm. Ohm is a technology which uh, enables us to monitor the environment through which light is passing through. Again, these technologies are uh, categorized as photonic technologies. Ohm enables uh, the environmental quality and if it is uh, light passing through air, we get the air quality. If uh, light is passing through water, we get the water quality. The next technology which I would like to introduce is called as uh, Tharani. Tharani is a technology which, which enables a fast moving aircraft to uh, decipher what is the environment much ahead of the fast moving aircraft. Uh, Tharani enables uh, mm, uh, very vital information, vital for uh, navigational and stability purposes, vital information related to wind, uh, to temperature, pressure, density, uh, in addition to the angle of attack and uh, angle of side slip. Tharani has uh, been evaluated over the last uh, two years on in with uh, thousands of experiments in uh, wind tunnel facilities. Now one of the wind, uh, wind tunnel facilities is what we have indigenously developed and uh, that technology is called as Vayu. Vayu has uh, is a subsonic wind tunnel uh, facility which is completely automated and uh, which doesn't have any of the constraints associated with uh, the present day wind, wind tunnels. That is. Uh, there is no blowdown constraint, neither uh, is the constraint associated with the power guzzling. The next technology which I would like to introduce to you is uh, Samira. Samira enables one to give a profile of information about the environment, especially wind temperature density, either in the horizontal range or in the vertical range. 
The other technology which I would like to talk about is Vidur. Vidur is a vibration and condition monitoring technology. Uh, Vidur again has, uh, we, with uh, Vidur we can uh, monitor vibrations with uh, nanometer resolutions. And there are no frequency constraints associated with Vidur as is uh, with the conventional uh, technologies which are known in the present day world. The next technology is called as VEDA. VEDA is a technology which enables one to look for information relating to intrusion. Uh, the intrusion can be either a personal intrusion or a vehicular intrusion. VEDA enables uh, one to give a very accurate uh, information uh, and it also enables one to detect as well as discriminate intrusions. So this has applications on uh, board many vital uh, installations over the land or water and uh, can also be used for highway monitoring and uh, bridge monitoring. It has applications in the railways. The logical sequel to VEDA was a technology which we have dubbed it called Pranidhi. Again, uh, VEDA uh, gives additional information about sound which is emanating from uh, the point of interest of observation. So that's why I said uh, the logical uh, sequel to VEDA was Pranidhi. Pranidhi is a technology which uh, can be used for eavesdropping and for surveillance purposes. The last technology which I would like to talk about is Savdan. Savdan can be used uh, either in air or in water over land or over the ocean. Savdan enables one to detect and discriminate uh, targets. So this has tremendous applications for surveillance purposes.